Satan wants evil for you, and he hates everyone connected to you. The reason is because you remind him of God, because you're an image bearer of God, and he can't get to God, so he's gonna, he's gonna hurt God's image, right? He can't get to your daughter. You know how he's gonna hurt your daughter? He's gonna destroy you. And then dad, you're gonna, your life is gonna fall on your daughter, and he's gonna crush your daughter. Satan. He's gonna try to take me out, because if he takes me out, he, he, he destroys my wife's heart. He hates her too. Right? If, if, if Satan was smart, he'd see us grow this church up 10, 20, 30,000 people, and then he would take me out and a bunch of people going, I'm starting to trust Jesus because I actually understand this guy up here. But he takes me out and I take oh, thousands of men with me. And when I take thousands of men with me, thousands of marriages go down the toilet and a bunch of kids go, well, I believe in anything anymore. You understand? His agenda is he may promise me good things. He may say, this, you deserve this. It's, it's gonna feel good for a while and it will for a while. At the end, his game is I wanna take you out and everybody to connect you. I wanna crush that little girl. I want to crush your baby. I want to crush your children. I want to crush your marriage. I want to destroy you. And there's no other agenda. If he says something different to you, here's what Jesus says. When he lies, he speaks his native language. That's, that's all Satan wants for you. Don't buy it. This world wants to take you out and take you down and the people connected with you. I can't get to your kids. I will take you out and then the fallout of your life will land on them. 